Good morning, my friends. Happy Wednesday. I am glad you're here today. Let's find out what we're going to be thinking about. May 20th, 2020. Dear friends, today is Wednesday. Have you ever heard of the Liberty Bell? It is one of our national symbols. What does the word liberty mean? Look, Mrs. Jones. Did you notice when I read that I stressed the word liberty? What does the word liberty mean? When someone does that with their voice, that means that's what they want you to think about. So I was stressing that with my voice without writing it large. I know as the reader or as the writer what I wanted to say here. And when the reader or writer reads their own writing, they're able to use their own voice. And I've heard many of you do that recently where you're sharing with me your own writing and you're using your own voice so you get to put the feelings in that you were feeling when you wrote it. That's the most awesome thing about reading what you've written to someone. So that was why I stressed that word, liberty. That's what I want you thinking about. We've looked at some national symbols this week. So we've looked at the American flag and found out information about that. We've looked at the Statue of Liberty. And now I want you thinking about the Liberty Bell. Notice that the Statue of Liberty, I'm going to put Bernard down, and the Liberty Bell both share the same word in their title. They both share the word liberty. So what does that word liberty mean? Liberty means freedom. So when we think about the word liberty, we're talking about freedom for people in our country. And we've learned that that was very important for people that started our country because where they were coming from, they felt like they were not given freedom to do things the way they wanted. And that's something that's remained important in our country since it's it was founded, that word liberty. So we see it and hear it over and over again. And that's what I want us thinking about today. When we start to learn about the Statue of Liberty, we've learned a lot of information. And now we're going to learn about the Liberty Bell and learn a lot of information. And I want you to notice on the Liberty Bell, there is a large crack on the bell. And I want you to find out why is the Liberty Bell cracked? What happened that made that enormous bell crack? So that's your job for today or for this week even as you're learning about the Liberty Bell. Find out why it has a crack in it. All right. Let's go on with our day. So, I've got my caps ready to go. Capital M, capital D, capital F, capital T, capital W, capital H, capital L, proper noun, capital B, proper noun, part of that name, Liberty Bell, capital I, Missed one, capital W. <laughs> I would have had you fixing that one for me. I would have had you double check. Alrighty, I think I got them all. Alright, now let's go for ending marks. We start at the end of our first sentence with a period. We go to the end of the next sentence, question mark. Thinking about the Liberty Bell. The next sentence, period. The next sentence, question mark. All right, digraphs. We've learned that digraphs come often at the beginning of a question word, um, a question. Let's see. Have you ever heard of the Liberty Bell? No digraph, I've chosen the word have. As we continue along, we see the word what. There's our question word that has the digraph, what. I don't see any others today. All right, let's count some syllables. Let's do liberty. Liberty. Three. Bell. Bell. Just one. Symbols. Symbols. Two. So we're still counting those syllables as we're thinking about words. And a quick snap word today. Find the word have. Have. Here it is. Have. Let's find one more. Can you find the word of more than once? Of. Bet you did. They're very close together. Have you ever heard of the Liberty Bell? It is one of our national symbols. Oh my goodness. 
I start to get a little sad now because I'm going to take a one. I'm going to add it on. One hundred. Six tens. One one. Why am I getting sad? Because now we're in the teens for our counting down. So yesterday we had 20 days left of school. Today we have one less than 20, 20, 19. This is when I get sad. We aren't going to talk about it. Just start to get a little bit sad when we get to those teens because I know our number is really going to shrink quickly. Let's double check our math. One plus nine more, 10. Six, seven plus the one that we traded, eight and one, 19 days left. I'm going to erase today. The only thing I wanted to point out to you is how fun the date is. May 20, 20, 20. How do we know that we've got numbers that are um, separate? I put a comma there. The 20th of May, 2020. Without that comma, it would look like a very, very long number. So the comma is there to separate. All right, I'm going to erase that wonderful 2020, and now we're just going to work on a few quick words together. In honor of the Liberty Bell, we're going to work on the L family. So let's start with Bell. Say it. Bell. Here we are. Bell. What part is the chunk that stays the same? The L is going to stay the same. Let's write the word well. I am well today. How are you? Well. Well, we know the rhyming part stays the same. Well. W. W. When we started the year and we would hear W, you used to say Y. W, Y. Not anymore. You know W, W. Look at that, almost first graders. Let's go to the next word. The word is spell. Sp. We've got a blend at the beginning. Sp. Two letters going quickly together. Spell. We know we're keeping the L the same. We're in that word family. Spell. S -p spell. Bell. Well. Spell. What about the word tell? So we know we're going to keep the word family the same. T, -t just with the T. What if I wanted to turn tell into telling. I am telling my friends about the Liberty Bell. Telling. Tell I-N-G. Smooth and fast. Telling. Can we turn spell into spelling? I-N-G. Glued sound. Ing. So we can turn one word into another word simply by adding the ing ending. And if we go back and we double check one more time, the word family, or the part of the rhyme that's staying the same. We have L, 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 L. We can find it even once we've added that ing ending. Alrighty, I'm not going to write a sentence today. I am going to put the temperature where it belongs, which is right down here, 46 and 46, two days in a row. And I'm going to say a sentence three times, and at home you're going to write it. So the sentence today is, we are going to learn about the Liberty Bell. And I want you to do your best writing snap words. And if there's a word you're not sure how to spell, I want you to stretch it and do your best to write down the sounds you hear in the order that you hear them. I'm going to say it three times. We are going to learn about the Liberty Bell. We are going to learn about the Liberty Bell. We are going to learn about the Liberty Bell. Alrighty, you can pause that anytime you need. I want to see that sentence today, however you've written it. We are going to learn about the Liberty Bell. Until I see those sentences, though, tomorrow will be Thursday. Bernard and I are going to say goodbye. Until we see you tomorrow, keep a picture in your pocket, a poem in your head, and I will do the same. Have a wonderful day.